Hey everyone, this is Blondie Keto Queen. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to introduce myself and give you a little bit of a history of keto. So this will kind of be introduction plus keto 101 uh, for those of you who have been thinking about trying the ketogenic uh, diet lifestyle. So I am 30 years old. I'll be 31 the end of this year, and I have lived a ketogenic lifestyle for about four years. Uh, the first two years, I was kind of what you would consider lazy keto. Um, it's not that you're lazy. It's just you're not counting macros and, and being really strict about it. And then these last two years, I have uh, gotten a lot more strict with how I live a keto life, and I pretty consistently track my macros, make sure I'm hitting all the right numbers and targets. Um, I also am bodybuilding. So that is something that a lot of people don't think that you can bodybuild, build muscle while eating a ketogenic lifestyle. So let's just go ahead and get into what keto is. Right now, there's a lot of talk about it um, in the media as well as um like you've probably heard news stories about it. I know Jillian Michaels did something about keto saying that it's not a sustainable way of life. Like I said, I've done this for four years and that's pretty sustainable and I don't plan on stopping. So keto, uh, it's ketogenic and what it was is it was actually found to help eliminate seizures in children. And this was back in the 1900s that a doctor found that by limiting a child's, and it was with the pediatrics is where it started. So by limiting a child's intake of carbohydrates, basically 20 grams of carbs or less. So for reference, a banana, medium-sized banana can have anywhere from 29 grams of carbs or more. So basically you're eating less carbs than an entire banana in a day. So this doctor found that by limiting your carbohydrate intake, it actually stopped, sometimes completely stopped or made it the seizures in pediatrics a whole lot less frequent. So that's where it started. And it actually is something that is still used today for people who have a lot of seizure disorders. Living the ketogenic lifestyle by cutting out the carbs is something that does help to stop or make the seizures less frequent. So that's where keto started. So what keto is, is you are eating a very high fat diet, moderate protein, and an extremely low amount of carbs per day. So that's all it is. So if you're thinking about starting keto, a couple things for you to keep in mind. The first thing is you really need to do your research. You need to read. You need to take a couple of weeks and just immerse yourself in information. There's a bunch of information online. I will post a couple of people that um, are pretty big in the keto world. I'll post those in the description box below. So look at those, read those, and just really learn how the keto diet works, the science behind it, and just learn about it. So basically what the keto diet does is we have two fuel sources. We can be fueled by carbs and sugar, or we can be fueled by fat. So basically what you're doing, most people are fueled by sugar and carbs. So you know when you eat something that's super carby or super sugary, you get like this immediate energy, but then it burns off fairly quickly. So that's what most people do. But when you switch to a ketogenic lifestyle, what you're doing is you're using healthy fats to fuel your body. So you never feel that you don't feel that high and it never goes away. So you just have this constant steady source of energy. It's wonderful. So number one, do your research. Number two, always check with your doctor and make sure that you can do this diet. There are several diagnoses that would prevent you from possibly doing the keto diet. Some doctors are very, very much against it. My personal opinion, I'm not a doctor, but my personal opinion is talk to your doctor and say, look, I want to try this. This is the research I've done. Let's, let me try it, and in six months, let's check my blood work and see where I am. That's a pretty rational way to approach it. So do your research, talk with your doctor before you start. The other thing is you need to know why you're doing keto. Are you doing it for health reasons? Are you doing it for energy? Are you doing it to lose weight? Are you doing it for mental clarity? Really think why you're doing 
the keto diet. Um, if it's for health reasons, which is wonderful, it's actually been shown to decrease um, people who are insulin dependent, diabetes. It's actually shown, proven that a lot of times you can get rid of the insulin by eating this way. Again, medical, you need to have some medical doctors involved in that to help you out. But there's a lot of research that shows that it does help. Um, if you're doing it for seizure reasons, that's amazing. Um, if you're doing it for weight loss, that's fantastic too. So you really need to think, why are you wanting to live this kind of a lifestyle? You also need to determine how long you're going to be doing the keto diet. Is this just a short-term thing to get you to a goal? So there's a wedding, there's a cruise, there's something that you want to do and look fantastic in. Is this a long-term thing where you're going to try it for a couple of years? Because say you have over 100 pounds to lose, this is a great way to actually lose that weight. Of course, you need to think, towards the future and say, okay, I lose this hundred pounds, then what? So is it a long-term thing or is this going to truly be a lifestyle? For me, this is my life. I don't ever plan on going back. This is how I live. I feel amazing on it. Um, so it's a lifestyle for me. So determine how long you're going to do it. You also need to decide what kind of keto you're going to do. Are you going to be strict and count your macros and make sure everything's there? You can also buy a blood meter that checks your ketone levels. That's what your body produces, keto, ketones, right? Um, are you going to do lazy keto, which is basically you have a list of things that you're allowed to eat. You eat those. You measure them. Sometimes you'll still lose weight. You'll still feel the energy. You'll still get your body into ketosis, but you're not checking macros. You're not pricking your finger to check your blood. Are you going to do it kind of seasonally where you're only going to do it a couple months out of the year and then you're going to go back? Or are you going to also do intermittent fasting, which keto has a lot of fasting. We can talk about that later. Are you going to do one meal a day, which is OMED? So just what kind of keto are you going to do? So the next thing you've decided you're going to do keto. Now what do you do? So first thing I would suggest for you to do is you need to clean out your pantry. Get rid of everything in your pantry, everything in your fridge, everything in your freezer that is not keto appropriate. That way you're just encouraging yourself and helping yourself out to actually stick to, some, to this new change. You also should look at meals. See what kind of meals are there. Pinterest has a lot. Obviously online you can find a whole bunch of keto meals. Um, see what kind of meals there are. Try some new recipes. Keep it interesting. If you are just starting this, I would suggest uh, try maybe just to do one keto meal a day and do that for a week. And then next the next week, try two keto meals that week and, and just slowly get yourself into it. You don't have to make the changes quickly, especially if you're choosing this to be a lifestyle change. You don't have to make it quick. You can take your time and really learn how to do it correctly. The next thing I would suggest for you to do is just get started. You don't have to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes. When I first started, I would eat something, look up the information and be like, oh, well, that had a whole lot more carbs than I thought. It's a learning process. So just get started slow and steady and, and give yourself some grace if you make mistakes. And then the last thing I would tell you is just trust the process, especially when you are in a losing phase. So when you're wanting to lose weight, it's going to take time. You didn't gain that weight overnight, you're not going to lose it overnight. So trust the process of keto. It's not going to be rapid. A lot of people, if they don't see huge drops within the first three, two to three weeks, they're like, well, it's not working. Give it some time. Truthfully, three to six months is what you need in order for your body to make these changes and for you to actually see some progress. So don't just do it for a week and be like, it's not working and, and throw in the bag. So give it some time. So this is like down and dirty keto. Um, like I said, I'll leave the links in uh, the description box below for you to check out and read some material on thing, people that I like and that I follow and enjoy reading their, their information. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. We can talk about them. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.